Hello, nerds. Thank you for watching Generally Nerdy. This is your week in nerddom music edition. For the week of July 23rd, 2018, this week in music, we have Rob Zombie, Murder Dolls, uh, all kinds of interesting stuff, new tunes, uh, San Diego Comic-Con is affecting things slightly in music, and intro. Quiet on the set, rolling. Hi, I am Bitsy Tellick. Hey, I'm Hale Appleman. I'm Walter Kane. I'm Rene Aubergenois. Odo on Deep Space Nine. Michael Dorn, Lieutenant Commander War, Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, come and see me and hear me and talk to me and listen to me and talk about myself. Hey man, this is Kevin Smith, often considered generally nerdy, and you are listening to what is often considered generally nerdy. On Generally Nerdy. Yeah. You're listening to Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Before we jump into the news, guys, let's jump into this week's sponsor. Again, this week is going to be sponsored by Mercari as well as Poshmark because we are selling all of the things that we are trying to slim down. Uh, collections, mostly clothes. Uh, and I, by mostly, I mean all clothes. But <laughs> check out the links in the description for the Mercari. And you seeing this, the pictures cycling here next to my head. Mercari and Poshmark. Both are our sponsors this week. Check them out. Buy some stuff. Uh, we're, we, there's definitely some nerdy stuff up there. Just sold the, nin the Ninja Turtles belt. Uh, just uh, it's been selling some, some all kinds of stuff. So check it out again over in the links down in the description. And now let's jump into the news. First things first, coming out the gate, we're talking about Rob Zombie. Rob Zombie just signed a record deal with Nuclear Blast Records. It's an international deal, so they are going to be who puts out his music for everyone in the world. And this is an interesting move. I feel like, generally speaking, on Nuclear Blast, you get a lot more technical metal acts. You get a lot more... Uh, like blast beats and stuff and from the sounds of things the new record that he and John five and the rest of the guys in the band are working on right now uh, the, the tunes are pretty mellow is what the sound is what it sounds like the way they're describing it uh, John five we've talked about this once before he kind of uh, equated it to Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Brigade uh, the Beatles record which is one of their like most noteworthy albums very interesting comparison, uh, and it's coming out on Nuclear Blast Records, and it'll be uh, no announcement exactly when, but it will be sometime next year. That's that's the only thing that he clarified in the in the uh, press statement is that uh, they are getting close to being done with the record, and and he did this all from the to from the road because he's right now on tour with Manson for the Twins of Evil. Oh yeah, so Zombies put on a new record. We knew that, but. He just signed with Nuclear Blast, and that is interesting. Coming up on the next bit of news, we're talking Murder Dolls one more time. Last time we talked about Murder Dolls, we were talking about how Wednesday 13 thought it would be a fun idea to do another Murder Dolls record. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Wednesday 13, goth, glam, punk, rock thing. Um, he does solo stuff, which is uh, all of those categories those sub sub genres of rock and roll uh and and he, they, he teamed up a few years back for two records with joey jordanson and a number of other people uh one of which is now in prison for reasons you can go look it up i'm not talking about that but today we're talking about joey jordanson aka the ex-drummer of slipknot aka the current drummer of sensanum uh and guitar player for the murder dolls uh, apparently Jordanson and Wednesday 13 both spent Memorial Day together and th just this last week uh, Jordanson was talking to I didn't catch the podcast talking to another podcast I boom I don't know who it was but uh, he said a couple of things when they asked him about the, if there's any new Murder Dolls music coming down. And he, the first of which said was Never Say Never, you know. And then he also said it would be fun. And then he said he couldn't uh, elaborate on and what he and Wednesday 13 had talked about on Memorial Day um, for legal reasons somehow. So that's probably more along the lines of, I don't want to tell you that we're putting out a new record. We want it to 
come out with uh, the proper media hype and not this early in the process. So it sounds like we are definitely going to be seeing new murder dolls when is pretty much up in the air, hopefully by the end of next year, but we don't know anything right now, so we're gonna move on down the road. Next up is uh, a little bit of death news. We don't talk about deaths often, especially ones that like are really close to home. This one's close to home, but not in the same way as, uh, say, Anthony Bourdain or uh, Vinnie Paul or anything like that. This one's more close to home because I interviewed the guy. It was for Eclectica Cafe. It, John Schnepp passed this week. Um, for those of you that don't know John Schnepp or why I'm bringing uh, him up in the uh, music episode instead of like the TV episode or even the movies episode because he's done all of this. He hasn't necessarily done music, but he did do Metalocalypse. He helped create the characters of Metalocalypse and was a, a, a part-time animator, or sometimes animator, I guess is probably more appropriate, a sometimes animator and a director and producer on the first two or three seasons of Metalocalypse. So I figured it was fitting to put it in here. And Again, we don't do death very well here on Gen Generally Nerdy, so I wanted to put it in the first video because it's kind of relevant. That way we can get it done and out of the way because it needs to be talked about, but I don't want to spend too much time on it. Um, he had John Schnepp. Uh, I, I, we'll go through, let's go through his list of accomplishments real quick just because the man deserves to be remembered. He was hilarious. He was a great comedian. Uh, again, he helped create Metalocalypse with Brennan Small. He also was uh, a key part of Space Ghost Coast to Coast back in the day on uh, Adult Swim on Cartoon Network. He also uh, did a documentary and started a series on the Comic-Con channel, uh, which I think you have to, it's a, it's a streaming thing. Uh, uh, the genesis of that though was the death of Superman lives, what happened which was a really long title for a documentary, and that's the reason why we ta uh, we talked to him the first time on Eclectica, uh, was because that DVD or that movie had just come out, and it's a brilliant documentary. If you have yet to see it, go check it out. He's also a regular collaborator over on Collider, uh, which is another YouTube channel that I watch fairly frequently, not all the time, but they do some good stuff over there. So uh, he was a he was a regular contributor to Collider. He did Collider Heroes. I'm pretty sure he did some of the Collider Nightmares and, and so on and so forth. So just an all around nerdy dude. And he had a stroke a little over a week ago. And then this past Thursday, uh, he his wife and his sister made the decision to take him off life support and he will be missed uh, you can check the the cards to see both interviews i will link them both i'll also put the links in the description in case you missed the cards but that's all we're spending on john schnepp thank you john for everything that you created and and the rich environment of nerddom you helped to harvest and grow oh serious note over we're gonna move on to some new tunes we got a new tune from uh, 21 Pilots. We're not talking about the heavy stuff just yet. There's one more heavy bit at the very, very end, so we'll get, we'll get back to the heavy stuff. But first, we're talking some pop rock, and it's 21 Pilots. Uh, they have a new album that they're working on. Uh, it's called Trench. I didn't catch a release date. I couldn't, I didn't find a release date when I was, when I went looking. Uh, the first single that they've released off of it, the first video that they made at least, because they released two singles. The first video is for a song called Jumpsuit, which you can find the link in the description. Uh, and then the other song is called Nico, which I haven't heard yet, so we're not going to talk about it. But it's out there somewhere. I just spent my time with the video because I'm always on the YouTubes. Anyway. Uh, Jumpsuit is the tune, and man, it is, it's 21 Pilots. It's a, it's a logical growth. It's a growth that makes sense. It's a growth that feels good. It is not a bad, uh, departure from, from their first two records. And this is actually, I feel like they're becoming better musicians. They, they, uh, can arrange and orchestrate their tunes a lot more on, on a higher level now, I guess is where I wanted to go with that. And, and this, if you like 
pop rock at all, 21 Pilots is probably one of the standout acts in that genre right now. Um, and they're just a two-piece, which is really interesting. Anyway, the song's super catchy. Go check it out again. The link is down in the description. Our next bit of news is Macklemore. Now, he didn't really release a new song. He just put out a, a new video for a song off of his last record, uh, Gemini, which came out last week. The name of this song is How to Play the Flute, which, again, link in the description so you can go find that. Um, the, I, this, I haven't listened to this whole record, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, like, I do like, I do like Macklemore, but I, I just haven't put a whole lot of time into this record. Um, so this song was new to me, and it's really good, I dig Macklemore, and the video's hilarious, so, again, go check it out, if you like hip-hop, uh, Macklemore's a decent introduction, uh, or just kind of general middle ground, uh, probably slightly above the middle ground, but still, Macklemore is a good way to get into hip-hop. And then, our last bit of music news this week, guys, is another tune from Dark Knight's Metal. Oh, I love this album so far. This song is probably not one of my favorites, but it's a pretty solid tune. This one is Maria Brink and Chris Howarth. I believe they, I, I know Maria is from In This Moment. I'm pretty sure Howarth is her guitar player from In This Moment. Um, and it's, this song doesn't play out like an In This Moment tune. So if you're expecting that, then kind of curb your expectations. Uh, it's still a solid tune. There's just the rising action isn't satisfying. Uh, you the 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 climax of the song really feels anticlimactic. It's very solidly done. Maria's got a good voice um, and the guitar work again very very solid. The production team on this we've talked about ad nauseum. They're they're definitely know what they want. I just feel like this one was a slight miss on that mark. Uh, again, though, this whole record is shaping up to be fantastic. Definitely something that you should put your money into because why why wouldn't you want to support Batman? I mean, that's un-American. But that, guys, is the end of this week's episode. Thank you very, very much for watching all the way to the end. What did I miss? What should we talk about next week? Let me know in the comments down below. If, though, you want to go deeper in the conversation, jump over to the website, generallynerdy.net. That is the place that you can go uh, find all the freebies, all the social media links, all the store links, so you can get your very own nerdy swag. And you can also find Mercari and Poshmark links up there since they are our sponsors for this week. Or if you want to contribute a little more directly, there is a Patreon page, patreon.com slash generallynerdy. Check that out. There's four tiers. The lowest tier is just a dollar a month. That dollar seriously goes a long way. So definitely check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash generallynerdy. If you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button. If you like this episode, click the like button. If you are falling behind on your nerd news and you want to catch up, click or tap that box right there to the left of my face to do that. But before we go and do all the things, guys, always, always remember that if it is generally nerdy, it's probably here. <laughs>